I did that exercise in which you imagine what outfit your vagina would wear if it could wear clothes. <laughs> and mine was wearing a black leather motorcycle jacket and hot pink boxing gloves. Yeah, um, it was basically the fashion equivalent of a giant do not enter sign. And that's because I have this condition that's a very unsexy condition called vulvodynia, which is maybe Latin for my vagina hurts when things go inside of it. <laughs> and I have a particular subset of this, which is even less sexy, called vulvar vestibulitis, which is vestibule. So basically, in a house where you would take off your jacket and boots, um, basically the mudroom of the vagina. And um, mine, really, mine really hurts. And it makes sex hard, it makes tampons hard, it makes all kinds of things hard. So I went to get some help for this. And the first person I met was Amy. She was something called a pelvic physical therapist, which is a thing. It's really a thing. <laughs> and um, insurance covers it. And um, I did not know what to expect. I laid down on the table. And um, Amy was lovely and warm. And she put on her glove and put a very thankfully slender finger up in there. And um, it was weird, because it thankfully was not the gynecologist. Um, but it also wasn't sexual. But what was it? But she started probing around and putting her finger on really tender places. And I was like, ah. But then I was like, oh, that feels good. And then she kept doing it and kept doing it, doing trigger points. And I was like, oh, this is like a deep tissue massage, but you know, for my vagina. Um, and I started to feel good. And she gave me homework, vagina homework. Um, <laughs> and I did a lot of something called reverse kegels. And, um, and then I met a guy. And I didn't want to be wearing boxing gloves for him. I wanted my vagina to be wearing a white summer dress with like white cotton panties. And I really worked hard. I went to Amy and I did my homework and I was able to have sex again. And it was like downright tolerable <laughs> and, and sometimes even really, really enjoyable and sometimes even excellent. And we got married, and I got pregnant, and had a baby, and I moved far away from Amy, who had become like vagina helper famous by then. So she was already, I was already kind of priced out. But um, we were in this new town, and my vestibule got kind of cluttered and sore again. And I couldn't have sex. And it sucked, because it's really hard to sort of feel broken in that way. And so my husband and I went to a wonderful sex therapist named Jassy, um, a British woman who says things like, everybody is sitting on their genitals all of the time, but we all pretend that they don't exist. <laughs> and I found that to be super true. I wanted mine not to exist. I wanted to sometimes just be like Barbie down there. So I didn't talk to anyone about this. There was a lot of shame, and I felt, I felt just so ashamed. And it sucked for my husband, and it sucked for me. And I didn't feel like I could talk to my friends about it. And a lot of my friends were moms on play dates, and I couldn't really be like, as the kids are running around, I couldn't really be like, what are you guys doing for camp this year? Oh, and by the way, I can't fuck. Like, that just didn't feel, like, appropriate. Um, so um, Jassy suggested that I might start to get over some of the secrecy and shame by sharing this story with some with people, right? And I think I think what she meant maybe <laughs> was like a couple of people. <laughs> um, but here we are, the dozens of us, and you're hearing the story. So thank you.